Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a team very similar to yesterday's video, but with an important adjustment. We are testing out a team with a Hisuian Electrode lead with a Lolan Graveler and a Lolan Golem in the back in the Electric Cup. I had an insane run with this team, and this team was able to fight back from some triple counter teams and still managed to get the win. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out this Hisuian Electro Double Rock team in action in the Electric Cup. Hopping to the first match, leading Hisuian Electrode into Galvantula. I saw this lead almost non-stop, and what we do is we save switch into Alolan Graveler to bait out the Lantern. This is perfectly fine. We needed to bait out the Lantern to allow Alolan Golem to sweep in the endgame. I'm not going to shield here. My Alolan Graveler has done its job, and now I can send back in Hisuian Electrode, and my goal is to farm up to 100 energy. I need the energy ball to KO the Lantern, and I want to leave with a Wild Charge loaded as well, because a Wild Charge does a truly massive amount of damage to the Galvantula. I build up to the energy ball here. Energy ball will easily KO the Lantern. Opponent will send back in the Galvantula, and if they don't shield this, this is going to do a massive amount of damage. Wild Charge gets the shield. In the back, they have Hisuian Electrode, so their team is designed to beat mine. They have a Water type and a Grass type in the back against my two Rock types, but as you're gonna see, it just does not matter as Alolan Golem is now in a position to fully sweep. I go for the Rock Blast. Rock Blast is gonna KO. Back in comes Galvantula, and look at these rock throws tear Galvantula to shreds. Galvantula goes for the lunge. I commit the shield. Alolan Golem gets the farm down, and that is a good game. Moving into the next match, going up against fellow content creator Dan Ottawa. We pick up our second Galvantula lead in a row. I save switch into a Lolan Graveler, and like before, I am immediately met with a Water Gun Lantern. Lantern will go for the Surf. I am no shielding here, as I am perfectly fine with letting the Graveler go, because all I really wanted was to bait out the Lantern. Now I can send in the Hisuian Electrode farm up to 100 energy, which is an Energy Ball plus a Wild Charge. I can tank whatever they throw here, so I'm not shielding a thing in this matchup, as Electrode can very safely soak this damage. I'm farming up, I make it to 100, and I'm going for the Energy Ball. Energy Ball will be lethal here, and I'll leave with a Wild Charge. My opponent commits the shield on the Lantern, so they are recognizing what I have in back, and they need to save the Lantern to try and win. They expend both shields in the back. They have a Kanto Electrode. I farm up to the Energy Ball and catch the Foul Play onto my Alolan Golem. I'm able to tank the foul play no problem, and from here, my plan is to double shield and rock throw all the way down. I will have to expend both shields, but I'm going to leave with a ton of energy on my Alolan Golem, and I know I have a stored energy ball on my Electrode as well, so I should be in a pretty nice spot here. I'm expending the final shield as they do reach one final foul play. Alolan Golem gets the farm down, and now I have a ton of energy, and it just depends what my opponent sends in. My opponent sends in the Lantern. I go for the Stone Age, but they end up making a catch onto their Galvantula. Galvantula gets one shot, opponent will fire a move. At that point, my opponent's only win con was to anticipate me trying to snipe, so they go for the Surf. I'm able to KO with this Energy Ball, and that will be game over. Moving into the next match, encountering, you guessed it, yet another Galvantula on the lead. So we're three for three on Galv leads. This is a very small meta, so you're going to encounter a lot of these same teams again and again and again. As before, I'm able to bait out the Lantern. Unfortunately, my opponent does lag a bit in the mid game. They're finally able to get their water guns through. I go for the Stone Edge, and Stone Edge is able to connect. If your opponent actually lets you land a Stone Edge, you can shield once, farm down, and take Switch. And this will guarantee that their Galvantula is going to align onto one of your Rock Throw users in the endgame. We'll have to see, is my opponent going to send in Galvantula? They are not. They're going to send in Hisuian Electrode. I'm going to farm up, build up to the Stone Edge, and bait with the Rock Blast, hoping to try and grab a shield here, and I'm able to get a shield from my opponent. That's quite nice. My opponent will fire off a charge move just before I make it to Rock Blast number two. They go for the Energy Ball. That's going to KO. I bring in my own Electrode. They send in Galvantula, and Galvantula is getting absolutely deleted by Golem. I will shield at the last possible second here, as they did make it to the Energy Ball. And from here, this game's over. I should have thrown the Rock Blast there. For some reason, I didn't. But the good thing is, it's not going to matter, as I just have too big of an energy lead and too big of a health advantage at this point, where I should be able to reach the back-to-back -back Energy Balls fairly comfortably. Opponent recognizes that. No shields, and despite three losing leads in a row, we are 3-0. 
We've got a mirror lead in the next match as we lead into our first non-Galvantula of the video. I am definitely going to stay in this matchup to start, but unfortunately, I end up losing CMP to my opponent. We are stuck going for resisted energy balls in this matchup, and energy ball just does not do a lot of damage here. I'm going for my energy ball. That's going to connect. I'm going to save switch into a Lowland Graveler, and my opponent responds with Lantern. Water Gun Lantern is on almost every single team, so baiting it out proves to be quite important. I'm going to fire off the Stone Edge. Stone Edge gets the shield as my opponent is looking to farm down here. My opponent is going to get the full farm down. They leave with a ton of energy, but that energy is basically wasted going up against the Hisuian Electrode. As with Electrode's Grass Electric typing, there's just not a lot Lantern can do here. Lantern goes for the first Surf. I'm able to tank it. Lantern is going to go for Surf number two. I still tank it, and I barely make it to the Wild Charge. Are they willing to give up the final shield or the lantern? They give up the final shield. I'm going to send in a Lolan Golem. I need to shield everything and commit to the farm down here. They go for the surf. A Lolan Golem looking to farm down. Lantern not going to make it to another move. They're going to send in the Hisuian Electrode. Electrode makes it to a move, but that's fine by me. I'm going to shield here. It is the wild charge. I'm going to farm down and leave with a ton of energy for whatever my opponent has in the back. Opponent waiting their clock, but they are still not going to be able to switch in in the back they have ampharos and i'm going straight for the stone edge shields down this is going to do massive damage ampharos gets farmed down and at this point we leave with the rock blast loaded to ko the lantern and that is a good game Moving into the next match, leading Hisuian Electrode into yet another Galvantula. The Galv leads are back, so as before, we are going to be safe switching into Alolan Graveler and baiting out the Lantern. Lantern continues to farm. They're going to fire off the Surf, and that's perfectly fine by me. I'm not going to fight for Switch whatsoever. I'm going to let the Graveler go, send in the Hisuian Electrode, and look to over farm to 100 energy as I always do. It doesn't really matter what they throw here, as Hisuian Electrode is going to be able to tank the resisted damage. As you see, the immediate no shield here as they're going for the surf surf not gonna do a lot of damage i continue to farm up i make it to 100 energy and i'm going for the energy ball are they willing to protect the lantern they are not opponent gonna send back in galvantula and i'm firing off the wild charge this wild charge will do a ton of damage if it lands which it does in comes a lowland golem they have their own hisuian electrode and all i have to do is double shield not throw a single charge move and farm them all the way down they go for the energy ball it's just not gonna matter they can make it to a second charge move but not a third the rock throw goes through so the electrode has been ko'd in comes galvantula they get farmed down as well and that is a good game Hopping into the next match, and apparently it's National Lead Galvantula Day, because that's basically all I was seeing. Immediate save switch, as always, into a Lowland Graveler, and I am met with the Perpetual Lantern. Lantern goes for the Surf, I will immediately no shield, and at this point, I'm just gonna send in my Hisuian Electrode, tank whatever they throw, and farm to 100 energy. Being able to leave with a Wild Charge to threaten the Galvantula is incredibly helpful. They're firing off the Surf, that's not really gonna matter, I'm gonna be able to tank that, farm to 100, go for the Energy Ball to get the K and leave with that wild charge loaded to threaten the galv energy ball able to land in comes galv galv is going to be met with the loaded wild charge wild charge does get shielded in comes a lolan golem opponent staying in this matchup and i'll be honest i don't know my fury cutter galv counts i commit the shield it's a lunge and then they send in Minin. So they are running a slightly different version of the team. Instead of running his Suing Electrode in the back, they have Minin. And in the one shield, Minin does win this. However, in the twos, Golem can win it, but I don't have both shields. My opponent played it very well. So now I have to let this go and trust in his Suing Electrode. I need to be able to overfarm quite a bit in this matchup. My goal is to overfarm enough, KO with the energy ball, and then be able to outpace. But as you see, I miscount, I overfarm too much. They're able to make it to the discharge. Discharge KOs the electrode, and that is a good game. At this point, I'd be shocked if the lead was anything other than Galvantula. So of course, it is a Galvantula. We save Switch Graveler, we bait out Lantern, and at this point, it's starting to feel like Groundhog Day with how similar the teams at Electric Cup are. 
They're gonna go for the Surf. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna send in his Suing Electrode and let's farm up a ton of energy. They go for the Surf. We go for the immediate No Shield here as we're going to be able to tank it. And we just farm up to 100 energy. Building up here, almost able to get to the Energy Ball, but they make it to Surf number two. That's perfectly fine. I'm able to tank it. I'm deep in the red, but that's not gonna matter. The important thing is that I have the back-to-back -back moves. Energy Ball gets the KO on the Lantern. We have the Wild Charge to threaten the Galve. Let's see, are they going to commit the shield here? Yes, they are. I'm gonna send in a Lolan Golem. They switch and in the back, they are running Dedene. Very interesting pick here from the opponent. Typically, we have seen his suing Electrode, but the opponent running something more neutral to rock in this situation in Dedene. And bad news for Dedene is Dedene does not have a great matchup here. Whereas his suing Electrode can actually win in the one shield. Unfortunately, Dedene cannot. And now I can just fire off the Rock Blast, grab the shield from Galvantula. Here, I had the Stone Edge loaded. I could have thrown the Stone Edge, but honestly, Rock Blast KOs anyway, as we get another win. At this point, you may be wondering what actually does beat this team. Well, this match is a very good demonstration. So far, it's gonna play out identically to the matches that we've seen before. Galv lead, save switch into Graveler, bait out the Lantern, and I'm gonna play it the exact same way that I have. Let the move go, send in his Suing Electrode, farm up to 100 energy. At this point, this is all I really know how to do. I've done it so many times in a row. They go for the Surf, I know Shield. I'm gonna farm up to 100 energy and go for the Energy Ball. Energy Ball will KO. They're probably going to be sending back in the Galve. We can threaten a shield with the Wild Charge, and then we trust in a Lolan Golem. However, this time it's not going to be that Hisuian Electrode. It's going to be a ground hidden power Shadow Lux Ray. And as you see, that's one of the only things that can beat a Lolan Golem in the twos, and I end up conceding the match. Moving into the next match, leading his Suing Electrode into what else would it be but another Galvantula. I don't know why everyone picked this day to run Galvantula lead, but Galvantula lead with Water Gun Lantern on the back was almost every single team that I encountered. As before, immediate no shield here. We are going to be letting this go, sending in the Hisuian Electrode, and we're playing it out as we have at this point probably at least a dozen times. They go for the Surf, we no shield, we farm up to 100 energy, and we're going to be going for the energy ball here. Honestly, it just feels like deja vu commentating these battles with how frequently we've seen teams like this. We're able to KO, opponent is gonna be sending back in Galvantula. They choose to wait their timer here. I'm going for the wild charge to deal some massive resisted damage or grab a shield. They let it go. I send in Golem. They have a Minin in the back. Previously, a Minin in the back was able to defeat the Golem, but that's because the opponent was able to grab a shield. In the two shield, Minin is unable to beat a Lolan Golem. As I can pretty safely shield up, they go for a discharge bait, which is a bit uncomfortable for me. But as long as they don't bait twice, I should be okay here. I will shield at the last possible second. It's the Grass Knot. And that means that thankfully, they are not able to reach a third move. Galve gets farmed down and we get another win. Hopping into the final match, and we finally see a unique lead. Hisuian Electrode into Manectric. I save switch into my Alolan Graveler. I'm able to bait out the Lantern, and this is exactly what I was hoping for. My opponent looks like they're trying to go for the farm down here. They let me make it to a Stone Edge, and from here, I can just shield once and win switch, but for some reason, they don't throw a charge move. They're gonna send in Manectric. Manectric looking for the farm down, but not before I'm able to reach one final Rock Blast. Rock Blast is gonna get the shield. I'm gonna send in a Lolan Golem. Here, I should have no shielded the first move. It's a pretty obvious Psychic Fangs bait, but I make the mistake. I'm now debuffed, and now, honestly, I don't want to know how much an overheat would do, so I will commit the shield. I'm down shields, and in the back, my opponent has a Kanto Electrode. I'm going to send in my Hisuian Electrode. His foul play is not going to do a lot of damage here. Bad news for me, however, they have Hyper Beam, and Hyper Beam nearly one-shots. I'm going to return fire with the Energy Ball here. Energy Ball will hit for some solid neutral damage, so my opponent is going to commit the shield and get the farm down. The question is... Do they have the beam, or is it just the foul play? It's the foul play. Alolan Golem going for the Rock Blast. This should be enough damage to KO. Kanto Electrode isn't the tankiest. Rock Blast KOs. We farm down the Manectric, and that is a good game. 
All in all, I had a ton of success with the team. I believe I went 15 and five with it on stream and was able to climb back into the 2900s. This team does feel like a very effective one if you're looking to climb in the Electric Cup because one of the two hard counters to rock types in the meta, Hidden Power Ground Luxray is pretty difficult to obtain. It's definitely a team where as it becomes more common, people could try and just run Lantern Luxray backlines to hard counter it, but for the time being, I was able to have some great results with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.